Okay, here we are. It's been a long day. We've taken the car completely apart again. We've got it on the rotisserie and on an angle. And now we're going to finish up doctoring up all those welds and putting the quarter panels on and the inner wheel welds and go into the final paint mode. Like I said, here's the bottom. It looks beautiful. But we put in new wheel wells and we've got all those weld marks. And all the welds have to be ground down perfect. And they have to be all smoothed out, primed, and then painted like the bottom of the car. We've got all these welds down here. We've got good lighting here we can show. All these welds down in here from I would have had it done on my back, upside down. I tried doing it, the welding was splatting in my face. I'm not a professional welder, so I decided to do this because we're going to be painting it with nothing on the car anyway. So we're going to fix all that doctor paint up, and then I'll just spray this all one more time, both sides, even though it looks beautiful. Since I'll mix the paint up, I'll scuff it all up, prep it all, tape it all up. And I should be painting, hopefully, in two, three days. I'm gonna work tomorrow, grinding all these welds down, sanding them. If I have to skim coat them with some body filler or tiger hair, just to make them look perfect. You can see them all in there underneath that lip. The back sides of the plug holes. And then same thing here, all along that lip. I never to be able to get at them upside down. It's when I drilled out the old quarter panel, those holes got there. The, the wheel wells are going to be able to be uh, tapped in here, nice along the edges. And all these other different little welds be, be ground down perfect because you're looking at it, sitting at it face to face versus on your back. It's just way easier. It took me about four or five hours to take the frame off the car, the back axle. The hardest part was putting it back on the rotisserie by myself. I called a bunch of friends, but it's old homes day weekend, and everybody's up with their families and stuff. So it looks really nice. I got it on the rotisserie by myself. And I'm going to take a break right now, go inside, eat something start fresh tomorrow in the morning. It looks really nice. It seems funny to see it back up here in the rotisserie. But this is going to be the nice part because it's in final paint mode. We get to just do all the little tweaking and getting everything really nice and lined up. The lights are still on this side. I shut them off, but most of the car is all over the place again. But you can see how nice that paint job had turned out before. It just was, I don't know, it's just something really nice. So I'm going to reduplicate that for the wheel wells, paint the rest of this cowl, get the car ready for paint. We're painting it black, not deep water blue. So I'm going to turn this sideways, but the vehicle's completely sideways on the rotisserie here. So you can get an idea. It's not me playing with the phone. It's pretty wild how it looks like that. Give you the panoramic view here. Listen to my hip jazz here. Yeah, so I'm gonna get one of my nephews to help me tomorrow. So that's me talking for another four minutes. It looks really nice. I'm tired, but it's uh, grind and finesse tomorrow. A full day of that. All the rest of these welds here. Now you can reach them really easy. All just easy to get at everything. It's going to be all really. And underneath the trunk lid, I had to get some welds under here that I couldn't get. Now I can get at them by just leaning into the car. It's going to be really nice to finish up all the welds this way, so that's about it.